I wonder if it still power. hits. Well, you've heard all kinds of things. You've heard it's loser college for remedial teens, 20-something dropouts, middle-aged divorcees, and old people keeping their minds active as they circle the drain of eternity. Abed, by the way. Abed, uh, nice to know you and then meet you in that order. Abed, yeah. What's the deal with the hot girl from Spanish class? I can't find a road in there. Well, I only talked to her once while she was borrowing a pencil, but her name is Britta. She's 28, birthday in October. She has two older brothers, and one of them works with children who have a disorder. I, I might see wanna... your value now. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. So what is my lawyer doing here? I'm a student. Well, that cannot be an inspiring journey. Uh, I, I am in a bit of a jam. The, the state bar has suspended my license. Uh, they found out my college degree was less than legitimate. Well, I thought you had a bachelor's from Columbia. And now I have to get one from America. Ooh. And it can't be an email attachment. Well, you picked a fine school. Yes, and I'm hoping that our friendship will yield certain advantages. Mm -hmm. You know, academic guidance, yes. moral support, every answer to every test for every one of the classes that I'm taking. Uh, here's my schedule. Oh, now, Jeff, just by asking that, you have, you have insulted the integrity of this entire institution. Oi! <laughs> Waster! Not a bathroom! Not, not a bathroom! Okay, Duncan, you did seem less into integrity the day that I convinced 12 of your peers that when you made that U-turn on the freeway and tried to order chalupas from the emergency call box, that your only real crime was loving America. I'll look into it. Thank you. Oh, hey, Spanish. Yeah, uh, don't hit on me, okay? Whoa. Uh, I wouldn't dream of it. I just wanted to let you know about my Spanish study group. Duermo tarde, espanol. Uno hora más. No, rearme coche. I really need help with Spanish. Yeah, I was willing to bet. I'm Jeff. Yeah, here's the, uh... contact sheet. Just put your stuff Alice in and Brie, oh my god. Man. The rest of the group is running late, but you and I can get acquainted. You may have noticed this morning, not so good at the small talk. Yeah, I like big talk. What's your deal? That's not small talk. What's your deal and is God dead? Well, like <laughs> he said, exotic American women. Yes, dude, to me, these were exotic American women. Okay, calm down. For me, it was exotic American women at the time. That is how I thought about it. You lied to me, I will never talk to you again. That's my deal. That's a good deal. So what's your deal? Uh... Yes, I did watch The Soup from Joel McHale. That's my first introduction to him. I am, after all, the Amerabu, okay? Peak Amerabu. You understand? I know everything about American culture. Oh. Hey, text message. Let's give this bad boy a read. Right, they're, they're, it's probably you just... Uh, just for say you right. have to pee, I need to talk to you. Say you have to pee. That is weird. Do you have to pee? No. A text. I'm asking you if you know the difference between right and wrong. Oh my God, John Oliver's teeth were busted, dude. He was extra British on this show. I discovered at a very early age that if I talk long enough, I could make anything right. Who's that rat looking motherfucker, bro? Are you kidding me? That's American local hero, John motherfucking Oliver, dude. Wrong. So either I'm God, or truth is relative. And in either case, booyah. Oh, interesting. It's just the average person has a much harder time saying booyah to moral relativism. Duncan, you don't have to play shrink to protect your pride. I accept your chicken. I'm a professor. You can't talk to me that way. A six-year-old girl could talk to you that way. Yeah, because that would be adorable. No, because you're a five-year-old girl and there's a pecking order. Fine, I'll do it. Thank you. You guys are gonna His delivery is the, the rest same. Of the is here. Are you the board certified tutor? That means you do my homework, right, Seacrest? I need to call my babysitter. We're going to be later than 10. What board certifies a tutor? Where's Brenda? Not sure, but I invited more people from Spanish class. Is that cool? It's the coolest. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Troy and Abed in the morning. And bring my jacket, my wallet, and uh, keys with me in case there's a fire. Should we go with them? I'm gonna leave my home with Slumdog Millionaire. That's borderline racist, I think. Call them Slumdog Millionaire. I'm trained never to say this, but I think that group may be untutorable. Oh, really? So, uh, why don't you and I go study over some dinner? Or drinks? I think actually we should prioritize here and study first and then go to dinner. 
And if they really prove to be untutorable, we'll slip out early. Oh. They will be untutorable. Spanish. What are you doing? Pierce! Let's discuss this creepiness. Pardon you? What are you doing? I'm certified. Are you unaware that Shirley finds your advances inappropriate? <laughs> what advances? You have been sexually harassing me since the very first day of class. Sexually harassing? <laughs> what? That makes no sense to me. Why would I harass somebody who turns me on? Saying she turns you on is the harassment, dude. Hey. I'm a prominent business leader and a highly sought after dinner guest, and I will not take courting advice from some teenage boy. <laughs> well, this teenage boy is a quarterback and a prom king. You're not prom king anymore, Troy. This isn't Riverside High. How'd you know I went there? Because you're still wearing your stupid letter jacket. Wait, you're that girl that got hooked on pills and then dropped out. <laughs> you're little Annie Adderall. <laughs> yes, and you're a stupid jock who lost his scholarship by dislocating both shoulders in a keg stand. Keg flip. They're very hard to pull don't off. Don't after Christmas. It was a banner year at the Bender family. I got a carton of cigarettes. The old man grabbed me and said, Hey, smoke up, Johnny! <laughs> no, Dad, what about you? Well, uh, that, that actually was from The Breakfast Club. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Dirty dancing. Hello? It's Professor Duncan. Come to the parking lot. What's wrong with your voice? Abed was my favorite character oh, because God. I saw myself in his. Uh, uh, I'll be right back. Overarching interest in American culture. This stuff out. No stone unturned. Go. Chat saw other things, other qualities of Abed that they probably thought were similar. To every test in your curriculum this semester. Golf course. It is a disaster in there. Yeah, untutorable. Do you like Thai food? I love Thai food. Wait, so, so this is a game to you? You put human beings into a state of emotional shambles for a shot at getting in my pants? Why can't you see that for the compliment that it is? You're huh. unbelievable. Dude, he was the... Yeah, fine, whatever. As if there's a... I thought he was the coolest man for, this, for that era. Look at me. It's clear to all of you that I am awesome. But I can never admit that because that would make me an ass. But what I can do is see what makes Annie awesome. She's driven. We need driven people or the lights go out and the ice cream melts. And Pierce, we need guys like Pierce. This guy has wisdom to offer. The Dalai Lama and I. We should listen to him sometime. This is giving me so much nostalgia re-watching this right now. This isn't like Breakfast Club anymore. Uh, now it's like stripes or meatballs, anything with Bill Including Murray, like the, the charismatic loser who's like uh, more intelligent than everyone else, but like the original himbo archetype, dude. This is, Jeff is the original himbo archetype just attractive enough to be above average in looks uh but also a big of uh, a, a bit of a fuck up but narcissistic enough that you know he's imperfect but also simultaneously simultaneously you, you know there's a deep soft underbelly okay a soft side to him i did all this life give me my keys what no i have to keep your car let's don't hit me please don't hit me jeffrey jeffrey are we cool? We cool. What's going on? Can you guys hear me? Am I deaf? Can you hear me talking right yes. now? Yes. yes. That's good. You know what, Jeff? Actually, we didn't get that far without you. So if you want to come back upstairs, like. Really? Well, it is your study group, so. Come on, let's study. Sounds good. Oh my lord. Oh my freaking lord. Okay, guys, that is going to be the first and uh, only episode of Community we're going to be watching today. Okay, 22 minutes just burned through so quickly. Holy fuck. We'll do more of that, obviously, tomorrow. There's plenty of more fun reacts to look at tomorrow as well. We're not going to do Uno Mas because my family's here and uh, they are upset at me for, I don't know, just not hanging out with them.